Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, wife cheated, so I exposed her in the act in front of her family. Come, let's explore these real life stories. Every once in a while, someone that gets cheated on thinks about the best way to get revenge on the cheater, and that is the story our next OP is going to tell us. So, I had a feeling she was cheating as she set off a lot of red flags, constantly laughing and smiling when texting, saying it was just her mother when I asked, needing to stay late every night after work. When I'd call in, her coworker said she left hours ago. When I asked her what was going on, she'd laugh it off and say it was just something they did to each other at the office all the time. The last straw was when I knew something was definitely up, when she went out to get milk at 11.30 at night and didn't come back until 2 in the morning. Now, if there are any words of wisdom I can pass on to others in all my years of experience, it's, if you think your significant other is cheating, hire a private investigator. They're damn good at what they do, and they will get some evidence that really helps in the later divorce. Fast forward to her birthday, several months down the road. Now, I know what you're thinking, why the hell did I wait months before I confronted her, and did it really need to be on her birthday? The answer to the first question is I wanted as much evidence as possible to hand off to my lawyer, as well as make arrangements to find a new place to live, etc. The answer to your second question is, of course, it had to be on her birthday. You see, after asking her what she wanted to do on her birthday this year, she was rather insistent on me going out of town with my friends as she just wanted to work anyway and didn't want to be reminded that she was aging. So, I knew something was up, and after finding a bottle of champagne and two glasses hidden in my closet, something in me snapped. So I did what any sensible man would have done, I left and went to my friend's house, pretending like I was going out of town. While there, I called up her mother, father, sister, and several of her friends. I told them how I wanted to give her a big surprise by sneaking into her room with party streamers, kazoos, and a big cake with candles. Sounds fun, right? Well, boy, was it. It's 8.30 in the morning, and I have everyone meet just outside our apartment. We all pile into the elevator, about eight of us in total, her mother holding the cake, and me reminding everyone to be as quiet as they can be. I put my key in and unlock the door. We all sneak in and make our way down the hall towards the bedroom, each holding a kazoo, and mom holding the cake, grinning from ear to ear. Well, as I throw open the door, we all yell surprise. But the surprise was on us, as there was my wife, bent over in a compromising position with her lover staring at us wide-eyed, mid-thrust. Mom drops the cake, sister screams, father begins to shout. I pretend like I'm horrified, while her friends try to push everyone out while yelling at her. My ex-wife is sobbing and screaming, how could you, while the lover is desperately trying to put his pants on as he runs out of the place. Her mom was too busy trying to clean off that damn cake from the ground. The sister literally had to push her out of our apartment to get her to stop. The dad, at first, tried chasing the guy but came back to check on everyone. He kind of just looked at me as if to say, I am so sorry, before taking the mom to the car. As for my lovely ex, she literally just blamed everyone in the room. She blamed the parents for coming into our apartment without telling her. She blamed the sister for being a bitch, didn't understand that one at all. Hell, she even blamed the friends for not telling her about the surprise. She didn't try to explain herself to me, she just called me name after name and threw stuff at me. It was so surreal. I had this expectation that she would be clutching me and trying to stop me from leaving, telling me how sorry she was. I thought it would be like the movies. But no, there was the woman I had loved for two years, screaming and hitting me, telling me I had ruined her relationship with this other guy. I guess, in her mind, she just completely stopped seeing me as her husband and more as just her roommate. Needless to say, it was one of the best birthday presents I have ever given. To be honest, it was funny as hell. At first, I tried to disguise my laughing by pretending I was choking up. After so long of being betrayed, I was the one who got to have the last laugh. Plus, since I had hired the private investigator, I was able to prove she was using my money to pay for things for her lover, hotels, dinners, etc. So I did get some compensation for that. Though she still did get half of my life savings. Damn bitch. 
However, at this time, I was young and just starting out, so the amount I had then is pretty laughable now. Then reality sets in, your marriage is over. The woman you fell in love with has betrayed you, and the last two years of your life were a bit of a waste. In the end, it's not even about the money. I really thought I loved this girl. Why didn't she love me? For the longest time, I wondered what was wrong with me and if anyone would truly be able to love me. Not to mention, I was really close to her dad. My dad left when I was younger, and I never spoke to him again. So, her dad kind of took me under his wing, he was the father I never had. I still call him from time to time, share my accomplishments as they come, and even stop by to see him when I get the chance. And regarding my ex, last I heard, she had moved in with the guy, or at least I think it was him. She got pregnant and most likely has the kid. If they're still together, I really couldn't tell you at this point. I just hope she found some happiness, even if it's not me being the one who gives it to her. Divorce is never fun, boys and girls. And take my advice, when you're young and in love, don't be foolish and rush into something. Take some time to really get to know the other person. Wait three to five years, move in together. Damn, I wish someone had just pulled me aside and said, man, think about what you're doing. Maybe you should give it some time. Also, another piece of advice, the old saying about knowing how a girl really is by how she treats her parents is absolutely true. She was a total B to her parents, that should have been my first red flag. That being said, also pay attention to how a person treats a waitress. And that was it. If you love this story and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.